Canada. There's only about 10 ingredients. And this is the box I bought in the state. All right, so does Kraft Mac and Cheese in the US have way more ingredients than Kraft Mac and Cheese in Canada? Definitely could be different formulas, but this is a perfect example of how labeling regulations in different countries are different. These are actually very similar ingredients. The reason why the US has more ingredients, well, you can see here, pasta, it just says from wheat. In the US, we have to list out all of the vitamins and minerals that are added to that wheat flour. In Canada, those aren't listed, but they are added because you'll see them on the nutrition panel. Also in Canada, they're just listing cheddar cheese. In the US, a lot of these separate ingredients that are listed out are ingredients in cheddar cheese, but we list all the ingredients out, whereas in Canada, they just say cheddar cheese. We have butter, which is milk fat. We have sodium phosphate, sodium triphosphate. It's just listed as sodium phosphates in Canada. Both have citric acid and both have the same colors. The only potentially additional one I see is the tapioca flour and that helps to thicken the cheese sauce. But really, they're not much different at all. All right, so this, so yes, in the US, we do tend to have to list out more things than in other countries. Um, so then the misconception is always that a longer ingredient deck equals less healthy or less safe when, like this last example, it's basically the same ingredients with a few differences maybe. I also did just realize as well that the Canadian version has natural flavors added, whereas the US version does not. I don't know how I missed that the first time around. Um, so the claim was that in the US there are more chemicals. So in reality, the Canadian version likely has more chemicals because there are a lot of chemicals in natural flavors. It's not a bad thing. I just posted on flavors recently if you wanna learn more about that, but there's likely more chemicals in the Canadian version. Not bad, just different. I saw a lot of people saying that the Canadian version is cheesier as well, so it could be because of those flavors that are added that makes it taste a little bit different. Also, I think the cooking instructions on how much butter and milk to add are different on them, so that will also account for taste differences as well as nutritional differences in that prepared column.